I have never seen no crap like that in my whole life. Like, just don't be surprised because I have warned you. And it's it's your responsibility to share with other people who you know going to this school. Cause um, yeah, like I ain't never seen that before. You ain't got a friend on me. I'm trying to stand with you. We on the phone with it, cause I'm trying to run with you. Baby girl, it's been a minute since we've been around. Ever since I saw you, shawty, we've been on the road. You ain't got a friend on me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is day two of the So You Think You Want to Be a Mountaineer series. So today's video, I'm going to be talking about. 10 things that I wish that I knew before coming to app. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell next to the subscribe button to get notified every time that I post. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with anybody that you know who's looking into app or really might just need college advice period for Appalachian. So let's just get right into the video. So the first thing I want to talk about is the weather. You know, everybody talks about how Boone is so cold. You really want to go up there with all that snow like Forget the snow. Let's just take the snow out of the equation right now, okay? Let me tell you how bipolar the weather is, okay? The weather changes like a blink of an eye, literally no exaggeration. You could be having the best time of your life wearing shorts like at 8 o'clock in the morning and then by 6 o'clock in the afternoon it might be snowing, to be honest. Like, you never know. So you might want to carry an umbrella, some boots, um, a jacket in your book bag because it's, um, the weather is real. And let me, don't even get me started about the wind because, listen, I'm 4'11", 108 pounds, and the wind pushes me across campus. Pushes me across campus in a way that apps, buildings are set up. It's like, they're like tall and tunneled. So, like, the wind tunnels through the walkways where we have to walk, literally pushing us to different buildings. So, yeah, just pack for all weathers the whole pack for the whole year bring your rain boots your rain jacket your winter coat your winter boots everything bring bring a ski mask like i'm i'm not even playing bring a ski mask bring like multiple gloves because you won't lose your gloves you're gonna lose your hat i don't know how many hats they flew off my head in one semester alone so yeah pack for every season so the next thing is the best dorms are dun -da -da -da, on the west side of campus I live on the west side of campus. Before moving into my dorm, I didn't even know where my dorm was. So, yeah, west side is up this big old hill. And if, if you're driving up it, it feels like a big uphill. So when you're walking up it, it most definitely feels like a big uphill. So the best dorms are up a big old hill. And most likely, if you're coming in as a freshman, you really don't get a choice of where you stay. But most athletes stay in Frank, which is also on the west side of campus. But they're on the lower level of west side of campus, while my beautiful dorm, the LLC, is up the hill so you may get the luxuries of having a bathroom in your room but just know you don't get the luxury of having a short walk from your classes you don't get the luxury of being warm on the wall you don't get the oh and let's not talk about the stairs of death on the west side of campus there's nothing but stairs there's literally a staircase that has like 191 stairs from the parking lot to a trail up a mountain like 191 like you'd be out of breath by you get to 20 and like they're uneven, so you're literally running up the stairs. So, yeah. I hope you don't live on west side of campus. Basically. But if you want the bougie dorms, come on over to west side of campus. It'll get your legs right, have you out of breath, your asthma acting up, the whole shebang. Yeah, west side is beautiful. It's beautiful. It's by the stadium. You get to hear all the music they be playing during practice. Like, but, um, no. So pray that you get on east side of campus where everything is and you don't got to hike to your classes in the morning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. So, if you read my blog and if you have not, you need to just stop what you're doing. Go hit the description box and um, click the link on the 10 things you should do before choosing a college because I did not do this. I did not do this explore the neighborhood so when i was a boon i just went to the tours and went home because the tours took forever and by the time it was time to go like traffic was hitting and my mom was like let's go listen here nothing is in boom so if you're thinking you finna come to boon and live your best life going everywhere like there's nothing in boom literally there's nothing nothing in boon and if they're probably and if there wasn't a chipotle down the street, I probably would have went, would not have went to app. So, yeah, there's like one bowling alley, one movie theater, a skating rink. 
you can go skiing. That that people do that. But um, other than that, nah, nah. But I ain't gonna lie. Some of these restaurants that are um owned by people in Boone, they they good. So you will most definitely get some restaurants that you won't get at home because they're all like locally owned. And I think that's what makes Boone like such a homey town because everything is owned by somebody that you know. So yeah, don't come to Boone expecting to um have um everything around you because there's not even a Target. There's not even a mall in Boone. There's there's not a mall. Listen to me. Okay. Boone Mall is TJ Maxx. Bath and Body Works, Rule 21, Belk, like this bridal store, a game store, an ice cream place, and a nail salon. And an eye place in Old Navy. That's it. Literally. I'm not even I'm I'm not even exaggerating. Like there's no Forever 21, Victoria's Secret, Champs, like none of that. Mm -mm. So you're gonna drive 40 minutes to like Hickory Lenore to go to a mall. So don't don't come to Boom expecting to um go shopping like that. Okay, okay, let me tell y'all, let me, first let's do the backstory of why I put this on the list, listen here. So when I first, shout out to my girlfriend because we're in this struggle together. Hey Deja, listen here. So when we first got here, somebody, I don't remember who told us, but somebody told us that our meal plan had to last for the entire year. So we sat down and made a little budget on how we was gonna spend the money you spend like, you can't spend more than $15 a day yada 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 so we started off with like thirteen hundred dollars or so and so by november we went to swipe and somebody at the register was like do y'all not eat and we like yeah we eat what you mean and it's like why do you have eight hundred dollars left in november and we just like don't everybody have eight hundred dollars left and it's like girl <laughs> no people ran out of money in like september and i was like what how do you even eat that much and she was like you know you get a whole new set of 1300 or so dollars next semester i said what let me tell y'all me and deja was budgeting okay we had buku money in november like and we ate it's not even like we didn't eat we ate at least two meals in a cab or got a smoothie or something and we still had like so much money so like i just started buying stuff from the market at the end and still i did not run out of money so listen here eat 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 your food okay don't be like me you get a new set of 1300 or so if you get the standard meal plan every semester don't be like me because i didn't know but next semester i know because now i have like 300 more dollars added on to my 13 so yeah they roll over don't be like me don't make the mistake i did don't do it and while we're on the topic of meal plans let's see here back to west side of campus i'm telling you the dorms are nice but listen here, we don't get the luxurious calf, okay? We get Trivet. Now, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Trivet got some good breakfast, man. I ain't never had no spicy grits in my life. But boy, them things are good. Like, you want you want some good breakfast before a game, you go to Trivet. You make that walk to Trivet. But anything else in Trivet, no. Trivet is expensive. They make you pay for like little cups of syrup that you be getting at the hospital. Like, no. And a hibachi place, man, if you ain't boo booed in a little in a little minute, go ahead. Go ahead up to the hibachi place because before you even finish your plate, you're gonna have the runs. So if you need a laxative, hit up the hibachi place in Trivet. But um, yeah, that's another terrible thing about living on West Side because Central is all the way across campus. So when you hungry, you gotta choose between ordering food, going to the market and doing something going to trivet or taking that hike across campus because um when it's cold and when it's dark and listen it get dark it dark it get dark real early it started dimming at like four so you don't want to make that hike across campus and say fried don't start until seven o'clock say fried is like our little it's like a little uber service but it's free you call them they come get you from your dorm or whatever central ha also has a lot of um options for you to eat and you really just have to pay attention to the meal board because you can see if it's vegan vegetarian um what is included in it and you can also just talk to the chefs because most likely they're behind the um counter and everything is a la carte we do not do swipes it's basically like a decline but it's like a credit card or a debit card you um get everything you want take it to the register they bring it up as as price or like if you get like a salad or something they weigh it and then it's priced by pound and then you just swipe and then the money declines off of the meal off the meal plan that you got so yeah 
everything is pretty much it's okay like it's not outrageously overpriced but some stuff some stuff do be overpriced like them salads they be getting you so like if you want a how to finesse your meal plan video leave that in the comment section below because i didn't finesse my meal plan and finesse that little weigh and scale thing let me know because i will hook y'all up because saving coin is where it's at okay so the next thing is everything literally everything it's more expensive it's like five times more expensive do y'all know how much gas was when i moved on campus like no lot it was probably like three dollars and something and like literally it has gone down like two cents from august to december when i tell y'all i was so happy to get off the mountain because as soon as i got off that mountain i hit hickory i saw 198 i was like what i ain't paid two dollars for gas and i don't know how long like Three dollars and some change for gas? Let me tell y'all. Bro, we broke out here. We broke out here. I don't want to pay three dollars for gas. And like, oh my God. Everything is just more expensive. The little shops are more expensive. And let me tell y'all, if y'all want some clothes, y'all better get used to online shopping because little stores on King Street, um, no, they sell Appalachian apparel. So like if you go into a game and you need a shirt real fast, I mean, you can go there, but I'm going to tell you they're going to charge you like $30. So I'm going to need you to hit up like the local thrift shops, a whole bunch of thrift shops. You can go to Anna Banana. They got good, they got good prices. They always had a little $1 rack. You get 10% off if you go in there and dance for them. You can go to Rams Rack, which is a thrift store that has half off clothing on saturdays you can go to the goodwill like it's a whole little it's a whole bunch of shops but pay attention when you get in juice because them little shops be overpriced and charging 12 dollars for some socks i kid you not i kid you not they charge 12 dollars for a pair of socks like i can go to walmart and get the same pair of socks for three dollars okay okay this one this one a little hitting me hard you know you gotta be honest i gotta be honest with y'all let y'all gotta keep it real with y'all because um somebody should have kept real with me so if your car, I repeat, <laughs> I repeat, if you're bringing your car and it's not built for the mountains, don't bring it, baby. Don't do it. Don't do it to yourself. Don't do it to your pockets. Don't do it to your heart. Because my little, my polo tink tink sterling, listen, my car has never broken down, had gave me any problems until I went to boom. Like, ever. For the whole year that I had it, it never gave me problems until I got to Boone. And I didn't been to the repair shop about maybe a good five, six times since August. Dishing out money. Like, money. Like, sis. You don't got no money to be blowing like that. And even when you think you're taking care of your car, you're really not taking care of your car. So if you got a little hoopty car, a little old car before like 2000. 8, 10, yeah, no, it might be best not to bring it. Unless you got, like, a Jeep that can withstand the mountain, the snow, and all that, go ahead. But I'm going to save y'all some coins and save y'all some heartache. Let me tell y'all, if your car is not built for the mountains, for the snow, for long drives up mountains and hills, please don't bring it. Save your money. Just get on the Apple Cart or find a friend with a car. Apple Cart is free to everybody and boom. Like, it takes you literally everywhere so don't don't waste your money your car will be at home when you get back like if i if i didn't already pay for my parking pass i would most likely leave my car here and i go back on friday so of course i already knew it was gonna be a culture shock but let me tell y'all people walk around campus with no shoes on in the snow and the rain and the sleep and the wind and the cold like Everything. They walk around shoe they walk around school with no shoes on. Not even like no my feet hurts, so let me take my shoes off until I get to the but no 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 no. Like they leave their dorm rooms barefooted, go into the classrooms barefooted, go into the calf barefooted. Like that is so freaking unsanitary. I have never seen no crap like that in my entire life life until i got to app so don't be surprised if you see somebody walking around with no shoes on and another thing you might you might catch people about to about to get it on in the quad like people be dead live having like full blown out makeout sessions in the middle of the quad like i know y'all got a room somewhere like don't nobody want to see that app is not a party school like, I ain't really go to parties before I came to college anyway, so it really didn't make me no difference. But let me tell you, App is not a party school, but don't get me wrong. Them um frat parties, they be lit. 
for real, for real, if you ain't never had nobody that you didn't know hype you up, go to a frat party because then people be so supportive. They be like, yeah, girl, you better forget us. I'm like, yeah, no, I never felt that in my whole life. But yeah, don't be expecting a party like every week. Don't do that. Unless you just got the connections and like, you know, people always having like events or something don't expect a party every week it's not always something going on on campus i mean there's always little events around campus but nothing like let me step out for it. so fun is scattered few and far in between like if you got your little group y'all can go out and make y'all own fun but like group fun like that nah nah go to ecu or something i know that i heard they have good parties so listen here i had to learn this the hard way you know living with a roommate and all. i ain't never lived with nobody my whole life so um Everybody ain't raised like you. You gonna encounter some rude people. Let me tell you. You are gonna encounter some people that you just wanna stick in their face. So you just gotta take a step back and realize that like y'all don't have the same morals, y'all don't have the same goals, y'all don't have the same values. So like you really you really gonna focus on like, hey, everybody ain't raised like me. Everybody wasn't taught like me. Because there's some things that people gonna do that you just like. Oh, so you rude. You rude. Oh, okay. And that's all you got to do. You just got to be like, oh. Okay. Now that I know. <laughs> now that I know. Oh, okay. So my last thing, you know, this is big in all my college videos, is choosing the right major for you. You know, I was going to major in secondary education, English, and creative writing, and I realized that that was just me making a backup plan for myself. Don't go to college and make a backup plan for yourself. Live your dream. That's what you're there to do. That's what you're paying all this money to do, to get connected to all these resources so you can be come who you want to be not who you're settling to be and I found myself almost settling to double major in that because I didn't believe in my initial dream like who cares if somebody tell you that you can't do that you need to prove them wrong do you know how many people have told me like do you know how hard it is to be a writer like yes yes I know that but do you know how hard it is to wake up in the morning and go to a job every day that you hate like do you know that like, that, I'm pretty sure that's much harder than being a writer. I'm pretty sure that's much harder than being an engineer because nothing is harder than doing something you don't like because you're just going to drag and lag. But if you have if you have the chance to do what you want to do, do it. Nobody's stopping you from doing what you want to do. And if you're letting somebody influence you and stop you from doing and becoming who you want to be, like, that's a problem you need to address now. Especially coming in as freshman or if you're transferring about to declare your major, make sure you understand that like this is your life. Do what you want. They're not in here. They're not taking your test. They're not working hard. They're not staying up overnight to get stuff done to get the grades needed to pass. They're not. You are. So do what you want to do. Pick the right major for you. If you know you don't want to be no nursing major and you really want to be a math major, like change that. It's not that hard. Like, go to your advisor, get them papers, switch that thing. And most likely, because you can't really declare until you have a certain amount of credits, which is probably like your junior year, like, you have time to change your mind. Don't let nobody tell you that you can't change your mind. Do what you want to do. Because you don't want to be 30, 30, 40 years old wishing, like, what if I did this? What if I did that? Nobody wants to live their life in a what if. And if it's in your control to become who you want to be, then do it. Just do it. Be like Nike. Just do it. It's that simple. So this is all I have for today's video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And comment down below which tip was your favorite. If you have any questions about app in general, you can always do that in the comment section below. Or send me a DM on my Instagram, which is also linked in the description box below. And don't forget to tune in for tomorrow's video. And I hope that y'all enjoy this video and i hope that y'all are enjoying the series so far and if you have any video suggestions that, I, that you think i should add to the series in the upcoming days leave that in the comment section below as well or also shoot me a dm i answer my dms pretty often so i will see y'all in my next video peace out